So in my last video, we have stopped here where we created a server setup with Terraform and we installed a bunch of software using Ansible. Now what I want to do today is to install Docker using Ansible. So we're gonna see the full installation. How do we have to change it? So let's start from uh, uh, the first bit. So we're gonna set some variables for architectural mapping. So this block is really important because essentially it allows us to map the versions that are used in um, Ubuntu and in Ansible and in Docker for the architecture. So what happens is that when we have certain variables and the architecture says is x86 uh, 64 actually means AMD64 when we're going to refer to the packages or ARC64 is actually ARM64 when we have to refer to um, to the different architecture. So now um, So now let's move on and let's install Docker. So what we want to do is to create the keyrings directory. So we're going to create the keyrings directory in, into ATCAPT keyrings and we give it 0.7.5 as permissions. Next, we want to have the Docker's GPG key so that we can actually download and install the packages correctly. So we provide the URL for Ubuntu from Docker and we provide the destination. Next one, we set the repository to apt sources and that's where we're going to make use of the architecture mapping we added at the top of the file and essentially what we want to do is that we want to take the ansible architecture and map to the arc mapping that is going to be used correctly and then the next bit is simply we're going to install docker c uh, update cache yes and we're going to install all of the other packages that we are required for Ubuntu. Now what I've done to basically make this file, I did a, a few iterations with the actual docker instructions on how to install it. It actually took me quite a while because the challenging part for me has been the fact that I did not know that the version with docker and the version with Ansible for the architecture actually were different. Alright, so that's that's created. Alright, so we are in the shell and now we're gonna run the playbook we have just updated. I'm going to skip to the end. Alright, so all the packages have been installed. So what we can do, we can actually access um, the machine to see that docker has been installed correctly. So we go ssh. So we're gonna just run docker run hello world. And as you can see docker is installed because it's gonna fetch the image and run the image. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, remember that this and uh, other videos in the series on how to do Terraform, Ansible and Docker, they are all in my playlists. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment below. And see you next time. Bye bye.